But youth baseball is huge in Central Texas. In fact, the Little League Southwest region is headquartered right in Waco, and injuries have long been a concern with kids on the diamond. Channel 6 News reporter Curtis Quillen took a look at the state of youth baseball. He joins us now, and Curtis, injuries are still a big issue in youth baseball. Is that right? That's right, Chris. When Little League launched this new intermediate division, though, in 2013, we wanted to know if safety was a factor for creating the new transitionary program. We spoke with Little League International, and they say it wasn't. But when we spoke to an area doctor about the state of baseball, he said there is still reason to be careful about having your child on the diamond year round. Youth baseball uh, is a huge concern. Since the 1930s, youth baseball has long been associated with Little League. Kids up to age 12 have always played on a smaller field, 60 foot base pads instead of 90, and a pitching mound at 46 feet instead of the traditional 60 feet and 6 inches. Five years ago, Little League launched the Intermediate Division. For 11 to 13 year olds, they play with a 50 foot pitching mound and 70 foot base pads. Is there a way to help our players transition on our baseball side? from that small Little League field to a more conventional diamond. But does this new division help to prevent a longtime concern in baseball, injuries for younger players? Dr. David Haynes at Baylor Scott & White Southwest Sports Medicine says the evidence suggests otherwise. We are seeing increases in injury in that age group. Whether or not it was related to the change of distance, uh, I'm not sure. I think it probably started even before that. Now to give you some perspective, my camera is actually sitting on home plate right now. When you think of regular Little League Baseball, the kids that play in Williamsport every August, they pitch from about 46 feet away, which is right about where I'm standing. When you watch baseball at either a high school, a college, or even in the majors, they pitch from here, 60 feet and 6 inches from home plate. Launched in 2013, the new intermediate division pitches from here, 50 feet from home plate. And parents and coaches alike that we spoke with aren't as worried about any of these distances as they are about how much time a kid is spending on the mound. We didn't begin seeing the numbers of injuries happen in children until we started playing year round. The injuries that we used to see at 17, 18 years old and, and college level, now we're seeing kids that are 11, 13, 14 that are coming in with uh, more injuries. And, and when you look at that 15 year time span, the increase in injuries is exponential. Andrews Sports Medicine in Alabama is world renowned for its successful surgeries on athletes. In 1996, youth players accounted for 3% of the number of Tommy John surgeries performed. That number rose to 31% in 2010, meaning roughly one third of all Tommy John surgeries are performed on kids. And there's more. In the youth um, age group, the most common injury is growth plate injuries, so both shoulder and elbow. But Dr. Haynes says it isn't the fault of Little League or any other youth organization, a sentiment shared by Midway head coach Eddie Kornblum. But when you're throwing year round and you're playing one sport year round, I think you, it opens yourself up for problems as you get older. And we're seeing that. According to Haynes, USA Baseball recommends a minimum break of four months because the injuries in baseball are caused by repetitive use, things like throwing. That's why Jeff Kilgore, whose 13 year old son plays baseball, makes sure he gets that rest. We take a full four months off and we go do other things. We, uh, we play basketball, we go hunting, uh, you know, we spend time around the house. Multiple sports in youth uh, definitely reduce the risk of injury because if you specialize early, then you have overuse repetitive motions, the same motions, and that's why throwing is one of the, one of the toughest ones on the body. So multi-sport uh, athletes have lower injury rates, yes. High school coaches are seeing this as well. I think we need to kind of look at and tail back a little bit and say, okay, um, how about you go play soccer? You know, let's get your feet really good. You know, go play basketball. Um, football be great for the toughness of it. And that additional sport can occupy those four months off from baseball to avoid striking out on a young baseball career. Another way to prevent injury is during that four month rest period to do an injury prevention training program. Dr. Haynes gave us an injury prevention program specifically tailored for baseball players that includes rotator cuff, core, hip exercises, and much more. That information plus warm up information and more safety recommendations from USA Baseball are all up on our website. That's KCENTV.com. Chris. All right, Curtis, thanks so much.